Hello. I'm starting to look uh, again at the bed that had the leaks in it. Uh, so this morning I've got all the leaks up and uh, most of the weeds. There are some weeds. I just don't quite know what to do about uh, their pernicious grass weeds that are just going to uh, spread and grow uh, like mad. But I think I'm going to have to leave them in and maybe try and put some cardboard over them uh, and some chippings to uh, to kill them off because if I lift them all out I'm going to be taking out uh, probably three quarters of the soil uh, that's in that bed and, and it's only about <laughs> that deep as it is. Uh, so I think I would be better putting cardboard over it and wood chips on the top of it and actually trying to create new soil uh, whilst killing off those weeds. You can see behind me uh, I've put up a frame uh, so those are uh, long bamboo canes into the ground and my hoops over the top and usually uh, I push the hoops right into the ground uh, and here they're about this far above the ground so you can see the cane uh, and the hoops on top of it because I wanted a tall brassica cage for the tall growing brassicas. So given the number of uh, tall brassicas that I'm growing this year I think I'm probably going to need two cages like this uh, but one will do to start. Now at the moment the netting uh, just about goes down to the ground but I haven't got anything to hold it in place uh, and stop the uh, cabbage white butterflies and, and cabbage moths from getting in there so I'm going to put on uh, another one of these wooden frames uh, around the outside uh, that will hold this in place and they come as a four foot by I think it may be three three foot or maybe two and a half feet uh, box uh, so I need to cut one of the long sides so I can open it out So there we go, uh, that's, that's one end cut uh, and I've put it, so it's sitting on the, uh, the wooden frame underneath and I've got the netting uh, tucked underneath it. It's not going to hold it perfectly uh, but I can put a stone or two at this end uh, and at the other end and that will weight that down. But what I don't want to do is seal it in there all the way around. So I'm going to cut another one of these and put it at the other end and then just have some loose planks uh, that go down the side to hold it in place because I need to be able to access it uh, for weeding and watering and also later on for harvesting. So this is ready uh, for me to plant. I need to just go and bring the boards that are going to go along uh, the gap on the outside but other than that I can get cracking. What I have left in there uh, are a few calendula uh, seedlings uh, just to grow on and they'll be going uh, in this bed uh, which will have the runner beans in it uh, very very soon I hope. I've just been having a good look at um, what tall brassicas I've got and I've got five uh, main tall brassicas that's the Asturian tree cabbage, red kale, Cavallo de Niro kale and the uh, early and late purple sprouting broccoli. All of which I'd like to protect and uh, I have got three lots of hoops. Hurrah! So I'm going to put uh, the Asturian tree cabbage in this one uh, and then some smaller cabbages uh, on each side so I'm not wasting the space. Uh, and then I'll make another hoop uh, for uh, the red kale, which is also called purple kale, uh, and the Cavallo de Niro kale, and a third cage uh, for the purple sprouting broccoli. So in this one it's the Asturian tree cabbage and, uh, and some more of the smaller cabbages that we've got. And as with all brassicas, uh, I'm going to plant it and then I'm going to firm it in and then I'm going to firm it in some more, uh, all the while being really careful not to break the stem uh, but wanting to get the root bowl and the soil around it uh, really firm. So it's really not very many days ago since I potted these on because 
I didn't think I'd have the <laughs> bed ready for them so I'm really pleased that I have. I like to really take my time uh, when I'm planting brassicas to make sure that they are all firmed in, that there are no uh, air pockets around the roots um, and that they're not going to suffer from wind drop which you know, on our site which is incredibly windy uh, is quite an important thing. I could stake these Asturian tree cabbage, um, not having grown them before I think that might be a smart move uh, so I will bring in uh, some canes and put them in and then just tie very loosely uh, some string onto the cane uh, very gently loop round the plant and then back onto the cane again so I'm not actually tying the plant I'm just tying onto the cane <laughs> So you can see that's very well firmed down um, but I've been careful not to uh, snap the actual stem. And by building the soil up around the stem just a little bit uh, that's going to help with the wind rock too. I've got the first two in and actually I'm tired now uh, not just from putting two in uh, because I've actually done quite a lot today uh, and I'm going to stop I'm going to stop before I make a mistake or before I get fed up with it uh, or I just don't put in the effort uh, that I should do so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea put my feet up for a little while and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and a productive one and a happy one and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.